us strong. Now there is power to move on. Die on that cross. 
the altar of God's sacrifice to take away the sins of the world. It is written that Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. And that is all men, women, children who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw men unto me. Yes, Hallelujah. Now repeat again, John 3, 16. For God surely did love the world. He surely gave his only begotten son. For all who would believe on him truly will not perish. Truly will have every lost in life. I want you as children do and as I do that our minds and our spirit become as the little child. And let God work with our imagination, imagination. <coughs> and let our minds go back and let our spiritual vision go back 2,000 years ago. Hallelujah. Look at God's pure law. Look at God's holy. Look at him lie down. Look at him being rejected. Oh, see how they whipped him down in Power's Hall. Yeah, yeah. See how they struck him about his face. Hallelujah. See how they plucked the very hairs from his face. Look at them spit up on him. All for our sake. All because of us. They ridiculed him. They laughed at him. Can you see this sacrifice? Can you see him so humble, so loving, and so kind? Bearing it all for us yes. and for the forgiveness of our sins. Yes. Can you see a crown of thorns pressed down into his brow? I want us to remember today, little children, Jesus was made to carry that cross. The very cross made from the wood, the tree that he had created. He would die on that very tree. The word of God called it a tree. It was a tree of disgrace. The lowest humility that they could bring up on anyone. Hallelujah. He would die on it on the hill of Calvary. He would be stripped right there of his clothing, naked. The Roman soldiers then nailed his outstretched hands and his feet to that cross that became the altar, beaten beyond recognition. Can you see Jesus lifted up as he said? I see the sins lifted up with him. My sins were lifted up with Jesus. Your sins were lifted up with Jesus. Can you and I see the Roman soldier pierce Jesus in his side? With a spear? Can you and I see the blood? Can you see all the blood from his brow, from his hands, from his feet, from his back? Now can you see that stained cross? That was the altar of God's sacrifice, covered in the blood of his lamb. Yes, 
on those to wrap the cross, I call it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bear with me. Bear with me. Hallelujah. Your sins and my sins are covered by that very blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. Sins of transgressions, forgiveness, they are forgiven, covered under the blood, taken to that very cross, forgiven right there that day over 2,000 years ago. The Adamic sins passed down to us. Our transgressions were forgiven. Do you have sins of iniquities today? Hallelujah. We must admit and confess our sins of iniquities. Repent from doing wrong, little children. I'm an old lady now, you would say. Sister Anne is an old, old lady now. Pushing age 60, 86. Hallelujah. I have to ask my God every day, Lord, see me, oh Lord. Can you find anything that shouldn't be, oh Lord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brought it out with the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Cleanse me, Lord Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Wash me with Jesus' shed blood. Cleanse me from my iniquities, thoughts, words, and any deeds, oh Lord, any actions, Father. Ask it in Jesus' name. Those are the sins of iniquities that we sometimes daily, not even knowing what we are doing, no children. We do them so easily because the devil makes sin so easy. Yes. Hallelujah! It's not the big sins that we do that the devil tricks us into. It's the little things. The little tiny things that destroy the roots of the truly good vine. Hallelujah. Romans 10 and 9 tells us if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised him, Jesus, from the dead. It says you will be saved. Truly believe in this now. It's belief and faith that give you this. Romans 10 and 10. But it is your, with your heart, you believe. You are justified. And with your mouth, you confess and are saved. 